Our forests are under attack. Invasive insect pests are killing the trees that we love. Over 10,000 trees have been destroyed to stop the Asian longhorn beetle, and it's estimated that a third of our trees are in danger from this pest alone. Let's take a closer look at this pest and what you can do to stop its spread. The Asian longhorn beetle is an invasive pest native to China and Korea, which has been introduced into North America on solid wood packing material. It's a very scary pest because it can feed on over 47 different plant species in 14 different families. This is why it is under eradication and over 10,000 trees have been destroyed to stop this pest. Maples are the beetle's preferred um, host trees in North America. These are an economically important species because they're used for maple syrup, lumber, and additionally, a lot of tourists come to the East Coast to see the beautiful fall colors. Asian longhorn beetles are difficult to spot because they spend almost their entire lives hidden inside of a tree. When a female beetle is ready to lay an egg, she will find a suitable place on the trunk of the tree or in one of the branches and she will create a small hole through the bark of the tree into which she will insert one egg. Over the course of her lifespan, she can lay between 50 to 100 eggs. So after the egg hatches, the larvae will begin to chew its way into the tree. So this is a late instar larvae and you can see the deep galleries that has chewed into the wood. These deep galleries structurally damage the tree and also cut off the supply of nutrients. After the larvae completes its development, which takes from eight months to about two years, it is ready to begin its transformation into an adult. After the beetle pupates and emerges as an adult, it will chew its way out of the tree creating a perfectly round hole. Now the beetle is ready to find a mate and start the cycle all over again. So on its own, the beetle cannot travel very far. However, humans can move at vast distances, even across continents. The beetle has been introduced several times from China into North America on solid wood packing material. And within the US, it can be moved around on wood materials such as nursery stock, wood pallets, and firewood. This is why you should always buy firewood locally, and you should burn it where you buy it. The Asian longhorn beetle can go undetected for years. In fact, it's usually detected when a homeowner spots a new insect in their yard or perhaps a beetle in their pool. So you really are the first line of defense against this pest. Let's take a moment and learn how to spot it. The Asian longhorn beetle is active during the warmer months of the year. It is quite large, three quarters to an inch and a half long. It has a shiny black abdomen with distinct white splotches and long antennae that are striped white and black. There are several other insects which can look similar to the Asian longhorn beetle. One of these is the white spotted pine sawyer. This insect is not a pest. You can tell it apart from the Asian longhorn beetle because it has a small white spot right between its wing covers. The Asian longhorn beetle does not have this spot. Additionally, the white spotted pine sawyer's wings are bronze black, while the Asian longhorn beetle has shiny black wings with those distinct white splotches. You can look for beetle infestations any time of the year though it may be easier to spot infestations in winter or spring when the trees are bare. It's a good idea to take along a pair of binoculars when you look for this beetle, since signs of the beetle can be small and hard to see. Look for the beetle's preferred host trees, including maples, box elders, horse chestnut, birch, willow, elm, buckeye, and poplars. Examine the trunk and branches in the tree canopy for signs and symptoms of the beetles. The most obvious sign of the beetles are the perfectly round exit holes they create when they emerge from the tree. These holes are a little smaller than a dime and deep enough that you can stick a pencil into them. You can sometimes find the oviposition pits that females make when they chew a hole into the bark to lay their eggs. These can be quite small and can simply look like small wounds on the tree. 
So if you find a fallen branch or a chopping wood, you may be able to find the galleries that the larvae creates when it tunnels into the wood. Another sign is weeping sap oozing from exit holes and the egg sites that the beetle chews. Take a closer look at trees that are turning colors too early in the season or have dead branches, as this can be a sign that something is wrong. So if you find a beetle that you think is the Asian longhorn beetle or signs of an infestation, you can report your findings online at asianlonghornbeetle.com or to your local DECA agent either by phone or email. Don't forget to take a picture of what you find so that you can go back to it later and tag any signs of an infestation. Additionally, make sure you put any beetles you collect into glass jars since they can chew out of plastic containers. You can kill the beetles by putting them in your freezer. In this video, you learn about the Asian longhorn beetle, a dangerous pest which can kill many species of deciduous trees. These beetles are spread by humans moving wood materials, including firewood. You can help stop the spread of this beetle by not moving firewood and inspecting the trees you love for signs of the beetle.